Snowman, Doris. It's a snow girl. Oh, it looks just like you. Thanks, Timothy. Hey, Doris, don't forget your hat and scarf. <gasps> Am I toboggan? Everything is all snowy. I see snow tracks. I see a snow plow. Ooh, I see icicles. <laughs> I see icicles. I see icicles. Get it? Good one, Grace. <laughs> I never saw snow before. Never? Uh-uh. It's always hot where we used to live. This is your first snow day? Aha! Uh -huh. It's pretty. Look, the fish pond froze over. Wow! Look at that! It's frozen! What happens to the fish? They will freeze. Yes, frozen fish sticks. <gasps> <laughs> Only the top freezes, Lily. The fish are swimming underneath. Oh, good. Hello, children. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. yeah! I like your giant snowflake, Mrs. Jenkins. Thank you, Timothy. Do you know what? No two snowflakes are ever the same. Really? That's right. Each one is different, like you. <gasps> Lily, where's your hat and scarf? Um... <coughs> oh, I forgot them on the bus. I'm not used to snow stuff. This is my first snow day. Oh, Lily, we are going to have such fun. But first, let's find you something warm to wear. Ready. Let's not forget a hat and mittens. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. Hey! Henry's almost done making the skating rink. I brought my ice skates. I brought my toboggan. Watch out, Hilltop Hill. We're going to build a snow fort to keep out the abominable snowman. Who's that? A hairy giant with big feet. <gasps> yeah! He only comes out when it snows. Ah! 
Mrs. Jenkins, Frank and Frank are telling scary stories. Lots of people tell stories about the abominable snowman, Doris. They even have different names for him, like Bigfoot and Yeti and Sasquatch. See? But they're just stories. There's nothing to worry about. See? That looks like fun. Wait till you see it for real. <laughs> My Super Zoomer Snow Saucer can be your old toboggan any day. Race you! Any time. Nothing can beat mine. Okay, everyone. Lily knows the first rule of snow day. Dress warmly. Good remembering. Who can tell Lily the second rule of snow day? Play outside! That's right. Who wants to be Lily's special snow buddy? Can I be Lily's snow buddy, Mrs. Jenkins? I know all about snow. Thank you, Doris. Just remember, Lily's never seen snow before, so she's depending on you to show her what to do. You can count on me, Mrs. J. Quick sticks! Snow day is no day to spend indoors. Hats, scarves, and mittens. Everyone outside. What are you doing? I'm looking for two snowflakes that look the same. Can I look too? Okay. Thank you for helping me build my first snow girl, Doris. We can call her Lily. Wow! After we build a snow girl, we can make snow angels and throw snowballs and... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. for being my snow buddy, Doris. I like snow. Doris? Racing in the bottom. Try and catch me. Yahoo! <gasps> oh, no. What happened to my snow buddy? Where's Doris? She went that way. Thanks. Wow! That was the fastest toboggan ride ever! Let's go again! What about Lily? She's okay. She's building a snow... <gasps> girl? Oh, what happened to my snow buddy? She must be playing. But this is Lily's very first snow day. She doesn't know how. She's depending on me. Look! Footprints! They aren't my footprints. And they aren't my footprints. Lily! What are you doing? We're looking for two snowflakes that look the same. Can I play? It's very difficult. Oh! Or we can make snow angels. Okay. Only, I don't know how. It's easy. I'm making snow angels. I'm making snow angels. I wish Doris was here. Do you want to help me finish a snow girl? Doris was helping me, but I lost her. Oh, boy. A snow girl. Let's go. <laughs> Where is Lily? Look! Snow angels! And one is Lily-shaped. It looks like Lily is having fun, Doris. See? She found two friends. I'm supposed to be her snow buddy. Wait till I tell Doris I made snow angels. Get him! Ah! Watch out! <laughs> 
comes a big one. Done. <laughs> Let's get him. Good throwing, Lily. Want to play in our snow fort? Want to help me build a snow girl first? Okay. Okay. Wow. It looks like we missed a good snowball fight. Lily doesn't know how to snowball fight. I hope she didn't get hit by a snowball. Where are you going? We're going to build the best snow girl ever. Can I come too? Okay. Wow, it is the best snow girl ever. It's not right. To go, Lily. Ooh, now I'm cold. <laughs> we can fix that. I'm going to have to say a big sorry to Lily. Whose footprints are those? They're too big to be kid tracks. Or Henry tracks. O or Mrs. Jenkins tracks. Who has such big feet? <gasps> the abominable snowman. I don't think so, Doris. Look! There's Lily over there. Lily? Hey! A snow girl! The abominable snowman turned Lily into a snow girl? I don't think so, Doris. But we better tell Mrs. Jenkins we've looked for Lily everywhere. And then the abominable snowman turned Lily into a snow girl. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jenkins. I let Lily down. You did the right thing telling me, Doris. But there's nothing to worry about. Lily's right here. Lily! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Where did you go? I made snow angels and threw snowballs and built a snow girl, just like you said. I really like snow day. Can you show me more? But you've already done everything. Well, there is one thing Lily hasn't done yet. Would you like something to eat, children? Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Mama. I'm starving. Me too. Oh. Mm, uh, Mama, Timothy doesn't like raisins. I will get you some cookies without raisins, Timothy. Do you like chocolate chips? Yes, please. I'm so glad you're my best friend. Me too. Here are your cookies, Timothy. Thanks. Yoko, you have another visitor. Hi, Grace. Grace? Hi, Timothy. Yoko, it's time for our dance class. <gasps> Don't you have dance on Saturday? Yes, but I forgot we have an extra practice today because we have a recital on Friday. Does that mean we can't play anymore? Not today. I have to go. Timothy, I can take you home after I take the girls to rehearsal. Would you like to bring those cookies with you? Okay. Thanks.
Oh. It's Tuesday. Yoko always comes over to play on Tuesday after school. I want to make sure that the games are set up just right. Yoko loves checkers. I can't wait for you to come over. I set up checkers and puzzles and... But I can't play with you this afternoon, Timothy. What? I have to go to dance class again. But it's Tuesday. I'm sorry. I have to practice for the recital. Come on, Yoko. Let's practice our steps. Okay. Oh, bye, Timothy. Yeah, bye. <sighs> Hey, Fritz, you want to come over this afternoon? Sorry, I can't. I'm going over to Nora's. Oh. Wow! Cool racket. Yeah, cool. You want to play? Tennis? We have never played tennis. Don't worry. It'll be me against you two, so the team should be even. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Come in. I brought you both some cookies. Oh, you're all alone. Where's Yoko? Oh, she doesn't like me anymore. She found something better to do. What's she doing? She has to practice for a special dance recital. Oh, Yoko still likes you, honey. She's just busy, that's all. Really? Of course. Would you like to invite one of your other friends over to play? I tried that. But Fritz was playing with Nora, and Frank and Frank were playing with Claude. What about Charles? Oh, yeah, Charles. I'll invite him over to play tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. You're very welcome. Hello? Of course, Yoko. I'll get him. Timothy, it's for you. Thank you. It's Yoko. Hi, Yoko. Hi. Can you meet me after school tomorrow? There's something special I want to give you. Sure. Okay, bye. That was Yoko. She's coming over to play tomorrow. What about Charles? I'll invite Charles over another time. Bye, Mom. to my dance recital on Friday. I hope you'll come. Thanks. I'll come for sure. Good. Bye, Timothy. Huh? Where are you going? I thought we were going to play together. You did? You said you wanted to meet me after school today. Yes, so I could give you this. You mean you're not coming over? Sorry, Timothy. Come on, Yoko. My mom is going to take us to dance rehearsal. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Mom. Hi. Where's Yoko? She had to go to dance class again. Oh. <sighs> Mom, do you want to play checkers? I'd love to, honey, but I have to make dinner. That's what I thought. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was so funny when you twirled me around. And you ended up facing me by mistake. <laughs> Charles, do you want to come over this afternoon? Yeah, sure. We can play pilots and parachutes. Yeah! Timothy, rehearsal is canceled this afternoon, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Sorry, Yoko. I'm playing with Charles this afternoon. Oh, maybe another time. Sure. Prepare to jump. Roger. Okay, now. Whee! Good landing, parachuter. <laughs> that was fun. Now you be the pilot so I can jump. Roger, 10-4. Charles, look, Timothy, it's like the plane we were flying yesterday. Wow, it even has special landing gear so it can land on the water. And my boat can pick the passengers up. Vroom. All aboard! <laughs> Quick sticks, recess is over. Do you want to play again this afternoon? Sure. Goodbye, children. Thank you for a wonderful day. Yay! Bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> Timothy, I don't have to be at the recital hall until later. Do you want to come over this afternoon? Oh, I'm sorry, Yoko. I'm going over to Charles's to play. Um, your recital is going to be great tonight. I can't wait. Me too. Hey, Timothy, my dad has a pair of headphones that we can use for the plane's radio. Perfect! This is the control tower. You are cleared for takeoff on runway number two. Roger, control tower. I thought you two pilots might be hungry. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Huh? Thanks, Mom. Thank you, but I'm not that hungry. Oh, that's okay. Don't you like cookies? I like cookies. I just don't like raisins. Oh. I didn't know. She did it! They did it! Yay, Yoko! Yoko was great, wasn't she, Mom? She sure was, dear. Timothy! Excuse me? Timothy! Yoko! Wow! You were great, Yoko! I'm so happy you came! These are for you. Thank you. I missed you this week. I missed you too. <laughs> Yoko? There's my mama. 
You want to come over for some cookies? Cookies without raisins? Sure. Here we are, my little cherry blossom. Ooh, thanks, Mama. <laughs> <laughs>